Hello, Raymond Storm here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, the Horse Lord Mega Campaign. In the last episode, we continued work on expanding the Empire. Uh, we were able to grab some territory up here. We basically usurped a war. Continuing to improve our home area, we also continue to get our retinue built up. And we were able to disinherit our son and move our, uh, basically our heir to our daughter, who has the wolf's blood. We were able to also change the council laws for women on the council. We can change them again on 1024, which is seven years from now. Actually, I think we did that uh, episode before then. Right, 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 we did that. Sometimes they just all blend together. Alright, so. A few things we need to do. Now, in the comments, there was a suggestion that I kind of liked the idea of was to send Bulger to China as a eunuch. Unfortunately, he's not an option. I only have this courtier here. So that won't quite work. I guess unless I imprison him and make him a eunuch, maybe that could work. But he'll have to do something that will warrant imprisonment. Now the other thing that we were looking at is potentially going to war with the Byzantine Empire. They just went through succession. It actually invalidated one of my vassals' wars. And they are vulnerable. Very vulnerable. At least I think they are anyway. And I was also noticing it looks like Greater Perm decided to expand things way over here that just I do not want that at all so I've got to do something here and actually you're a kid too so I can retract the vassal I was looking at this I think it's Omertag here send that off uh, buildings chief Google was looking to reinforce to be torn down and replaced Sturdier houses and watchtowers, and the materials from the old houses can be used to erect better buildings. Okay. Actually, that's perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm now going to take you and say you are now... Can I not grant them independence? Is not a Tangri du jour vassal? He's a du jour vassal? Hold on. Du jour empires. Okay. Duchies. Ugra. Okay, so he holds that title of U Chai Chief of Ugra. So we need to revoke his title. Which is going to anger my vassals, but, you know, we're going to do it. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and grant you independence, get you out of here. There we go. Oh, that made things all awkward, didn't it? Why did he keep that and not keep this? Weird. Oh, we can always grab that back. Um, yeah, that doesn't be real easy to get right back. Okay, no problem. 
But before things get too out of hand here, oh, and now they're the 25,000 troops. Uh, what about my military? Well, I just kind of tanked my opinion, didn't I? Past few months, I've developed an elaborate cipher that I will use to encode my life's work. However, before I can continue, I must decide upon direction in which to take my opus, as the sum of all my knowledge is simply too great to be recorded in a single book. Um, we've been doing with the um, astrology, so we'll go with that. All right. Guys like this are now cranky because female heir, too many held duchies. Oh, I gotta get rid of that duchy. I need to grant you that duchy. Alright, that helped a little bit. Faction proves the crown authority, declared unjust war, outraged over disinheritance. Why would you care? That'll go away on 1025. Retracted a vassal, revoked vassal titles. Ah, but that improved things enough that I can raise 36,000 troops. This is going to be interesting. But we're going to give it a shot. Declare war on you. Great conquest of Crimea. You are very powerful, and so is Basilius Matthios II of Byzantine Empire. It's time to show them who is the strongest. By spending a significant amount of prestige and piety, you can go to war for an entire kingdom. As long as they are as strong as you are stronger. We'll lose 3,000 prestige and 1,500 piety. But we take the entire kingdom in one shot. Interesting. Or I could do holy wars. A holy war for Crimea. Alright, um... Not incur a party penalty as the Exarchate of Crimea contains a Tengri holy site. Yeah, so it is a legitimate holy war. I see, I, I don't know if I want to impact that much prestige for two counties. So we can just circle back and take again later? Uh, you know what, I'm gonna go with the more limited war for now. For now. Send it. Alright. Let's rally the army. Anybody here can take a lot of troops. 22,000. 10,000. I think we're going to probably go here. 
We just have to make sure we don't get over 10,000 troops all in one shot. Alright. And let's get the retinue involved in this. Alright, Sabir has lost. That's unfortunate, because I kind of actually wanted that, but, you know... It's fine for now. Someone has been spreading lies about me to my vassals, saying they distrust them and an unfit to rule. Unfortunately, it seems my vassals are receptible to the slander, and my relations with them have been damaged. Minus 25? Yeah, another morning when I wake up feeling as tired as when I went to bed. No. My daughter is my heir. Since I still don't have a male heir, well, I did, but I eliminated them. Uh, I may need to consider the possibility that my realm passing to my daughter. Rulership is harder for a woman, if not impo but not impossible. So raising her as my heir now, she would be better prepared should she succeed me to the throne. I will raise a ruler to be proud of. Yes. Good thing I raised the army before that happened. Now, if I were to raise my own troops, could I sustain them in the field? I made ample headway in recording my knowledge on the subject of the stars and planets, but it is still too vast to touch upon all that makes up astrology. I will, it will be necessary to narrow the focus of my efforts even further write on only one of astrology's aspects. I will focus on the planets. Oh, I am losing a lot of money. Oh, to observe the sky again? No, no, we're fine. Alright, we can't maintain the army. Oh, we can't maintain all of it. Oh, we have too many troops here. Oh, that was an easy, uh, Siege. It is done. It is finished. After a year of sweat and toil, I have managed to produce a grand work on planetary astrology. This tome shall stand the test of ages, and showing my knowledge and name shall conquer time itself. It will serve my successors well, and perhaps they will one day be able to add their knowledge to mine. And I think Mikagan Bulger, the Holy, will be known as the Father of... Vulgar astronomy. And his name will go down in history for that. Alright. During this evening's council meeting, the finder of Vinek told us of a rumor he had encountered the peasants speak of an artifact. Yeah, go uh, go search for it. Kanum Silen, the Great, has formed the alliance with Khan Kurt the Tenacious. Well, if things go well, we'll get the laws changed, and it won't be a problem that we have a female heir. Now, I am going to need to best... ...an enemy army in battle. I'm gonna keep my armies together. Ready to back each other up if needed. Here comes 20,000 enemy troops. Alright, where are you coming?
All right. Let's make sure that Suffered attrition there. And has decided to stop. So desire truly deserves some recognition rewards time time I know you hold huge lands and many titles the Duchy of Corellia um eh? I hold that duchy no that goes to you there we are Oh, we're in winter. Okay. Told by the educators that my daughter, Aten, remains interested in battle. Turning my eyes upwards, I give a silent nod to the heavens, thanking the stars for their gui guidance. I believe the heavens have a plan for Princess Aten. Indeed. Victory. Um, no, no, we're not going into uh, seclusion. Not during the war. Chief Hudabad expresses his wish to have a seat on the council. Uh, I would not bother you with such petty assignments. You're too good for that. Really. Now, where did their army get off to? Oh, they're running in. They have another problem. All right. Good. Neophyte, Pantheer's apprenticeship has reached its end. She knows enough of alchemy, astrology, and theurgy to be acknowledged as a hermetic scholar in her own right. As a parting gift, I gave her a tome containing a few of my most well guarded secrets. Not pretend to notice the tears in her eyes, but they touched me deeply. Best of luck in your studies. And we need to pick a new apprentice. My physician? Uh, or the... Canoom of Kipshak Dalasi. Go with that. Alright, split ourselves up here. Yeah, they're not even trying to take this territory back. Fine by me. Alright. This crown is holiness. Formerly Kaiser Gerdehawk II was crowned Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. My favorite subject does not interest me anymore, and I can't speak about it with the same zeal as before. I lost Zealous. Oh. Here comes 18,000 troops. Get my guys in there. Beautiful. Ah, and we captured Captain Rickfuller of the Varangian Guard. The captain of the Varangi Varangian... Is it a hard or soft G? I can't remember. We captured him, though. Very, very nice. Strategos. 
Philotheos of Samos was captured. Vatikos Dothomios II of Armenia Minor was captured. Perfect. Enforce my demands. We bested the Byzantine Empire in battle. Perfect. Alright, retinue. You guys can march back home. The Diviner Vinek has sought me out with his concerns regarding the search for the relic. Vinek has asked me to issue a decree allowing his treasure hunters to appropriate the resources and men they need from the local burgers. Ah, uh, forget it. I need their tax money. Right, your messengers tell of a traveler who recently arrived in Semender. The traveler, a Han scholar by the name of Sao Zining, Jin Jining, is apparently requesting an audience. He claims to be a renowned teacher willing to impart his knowledge to one of your children. Intriguing. Bring him to court. The traveling teacher bows before you and says, I humbly greet the the Bulgar of the Bulgar Empire. My name is Sao Jining, and I come with an offer. For a modest sum, I'd be willing to impart one of my many skills to your daughter, Aten, for I am a scholar of both Confucian classics and surgery. Interesting. The basics of surgery and poetry sound useful. Gain one learning and becomes a poet. What did you teach her the Confucian classics? Gains one learning and becomes erudite. Erudite gives plus two learning. Poet gives plus two diplomacy. Actually, the poetry would be better for the diplomacy points. The learning's nice, but eh, the diplomacy is more useful. All right, now. I wanted the Nipia River to be my my western border, so this needs to go to somebody else. Um men not in prison, not rulers, my religion and culture. That doesn't really matter, but it's fine. Adults, yes. Who are not a member of a great house. Who are kind of crap. Uh, let's see. Really good steward, but not very good at anything else. 16229. Yeah, you sound about right. Grant land a county or title. We'll go with the county of. Old shy. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and grant you independence. Get you out of there. Alright, now I need somebody else who's actually a good character. Good stewardship. Decent other stats. He's relatively young. You look good. Grant landed title. The Duchy of Crimea. There you go. And we now own another Tangri holy site. Right there. So. That has improved our moral authority to 89%. Oh, because, yeah, there's another... Oh, we had a holy site out there. But, that's fine. As long as a Tengri holds it, it's fine. We want this one. From you.
Who's your liege? How many men does he have? 20,000? That's doable. I'll need to have my own armies recover a little bit. My chancellor is idle. That's right, I wanted you fabricating a claim up here. I need this piece of land. Wait a minute, do I have... Do I have a truce with Kexholm? Vilkina land? Olshai, Byzantine Empire. No, I do not have a truce with Kexholm. Get a holy war for Kexholm. But that's not that important. That could be useful. Send that out. Man, what's going on here? And the voting holy war for What are you doing? You're going for this? No! Stop it! It looks like they're not doing so hot, actually. Yeah, they're losing. What about this? Attacking High Chief Otra of Kexholm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Let's see. 5,000 troops plus boats. Of course, there's not enough boats. That might be enough boats. Not that I really need the boats. But they're just slightly more convenient. Assault that down, destroy this army. Oh, you brought them in? Not a good idea. Probably want to switch up my focus. What was this, 1024 we could change the law? Yeah. I'm not sure that's actually getting me anything. But it's alright. My dear friend and sister in the Hermetic Order, Pantier, has stepped forth with an idea for a ritual that might invoke the presence of a divine being. The prospect of positioning the divine itself for knowledge is tantalizing, and the idea was therefore received with excitement by the Order. The ritual will take place in a few weeks' time. I have some interesting flasks that could aid us. Alright. Thirty days to repair the siege engines. Summoning the divine. 
time for the ritual has come and your order has congregated in your spacious in a spacious room. Symbols scatter the floor as you chant your hymns. Neophyte Patir has provided you with all with a new special type of incense. She claims it's necessary to make the eventual connection with the divine being. Before long, it has permeated the air and you inhale more and more of it, hearing the drone of your fellow's chants and you you feel your soul disconnect from your body and begin to ascend. That must be some good incense. Um, until it seems to connect with something, an entity touches your soul. Though you cannot perceive with any senses other than your mind's eye, it must be the divine being. You have succeeded. You struggle to control your emotions and coalesce all your thoughts into one burning question that you will pose to this being. Uh, oh divine, pray tell me of the operation of the stars. I guess we can go with that because our guy has been interested in astronomy and astrology for, well, ever. Alright, I see Aiken, Aiton could use some guidance on my experience areas. We want to get her diligent. Good, oh, she's got a lot of negative traits. Greedy, wroth, lustful. A lunatic? She's a lunatic. Oh my goodness. This is going to be an interesting character. <laughs> the Divine Being has given me cryptic advice on the pursuit of astrology in as many forms. With ample time spent mulling it over afterwards, I believe I deciphered what it meant. I look forward to putting it to good use. All right. I don't think we need the, the boats anymore. Stand those down. We need a new spy master. You'll do. And you're gonna go study tech. Which we have caught up to almost everybody. Send you to Byzantium. Our marshal tells me that one of my commanders, Arnak, has improved significantly. He got heavy infantry leader. Good. I need to catch him. Catch him. Got him. Alright, captured a guy in battle. Speaking of guys who got captured in battle. I can ransom you. You're not worth it. And I can ransom you, yes. Giant piles of gold. Alright, one or two more salts should be enough to finish this off. There we are. Enforce my demands. Send the troops home. I'm actually going to grant you the title for those islands. Actually, was that a duchy as well? No. Sure. Duchies. And it is a duchy? I have the duchy of Azov? Interesting. Should probably grant you that duchy. There we go. Alright. We are at the end of the episode. With that, so we will continue work here. Hopefully, I'll get this claim. I need to spend my money on some improvements, and uh, we'll see what else we can do. We can probably take this. 
you... You are independent, are you not? Why can't I declare war? I don't have a valid Cassus Belli. You're Tangry. Okay. Alright. We'll see about that. Okay. That is it. We'll end the episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.